As part of the Laravel ecosystem, there is a utility called Laravel Telescope. It is actually maintained by the core Laravel team and it is a way for us to tap into our application and find out what's going on behind the scenes. Now this tool is incredibly powerful but incredibly simple to install and this is something that will help newcomers tremendously. So I am inside the documentation for Laravel Telescope. You can google Laravel Telescope but I will put the link down below in the description. So let's read through the introduction and find out how to do the installation. So it looks like a simple composer require, which we've done before. Then we need to run a couple of PHP artisan commands to install it. And then another one to migrate our database. And that's it. With those three commands, we are good to go. Now there is this section here talking about how to only install in a specific environment. Now we have not touched up on the subject just yet, but Composer is able to have different requirements for production and different requirements for your development environment. And this is very powerful for something like Telescope. If you only wanted Telescope to be available during the development process, but you do not want to deploy that to production, that's what you would do. You would add the dash dash dev and that will put Telescope in a separate part of your Composer.json file that is only installed if you are in local environment. All right, let's dive right in and get this installed. I'm going to compose a required Laravel telescope in our project and let's wait for it to install. And it's done. Now do notice here that we have a new discovered package, which is of course Laravel telescope. Let's head back to the documentation and find out what's next. So now we need to run PHP artisan telescope install. Let's run that now. And there we go. And finally, let's go ahead and migrate our database. So we see that Telescope created a new table in our database called Telescope Entries. Great. So now we can go back to the browser. And in our app, we can visit our app slash Telescope. So this is Laravel Telescope. Now we're going to do a quick overview of Telescope, but I definitely encourage you to spend some time with it trying to look through it and see how it works. So we have this request and the way that would work is if we visit our project in a separate screen, we go back here and we do see that we had two requests. We obviously tried to fetch the customers and then we had a redirect back to the login page. All right, so back here, let's try to go to the contact us page and let's check out what happened load new entries and there we are. So we can see that behind the scenes telescope is continually looking in our app and telling you what's going on. So obviously if we go to the command section, very similar section here. Let's run a command. Let's go back to our terminal, run PHP artisan. Let's go back, load new entries. And now we see that we ran the list command. Obviously the list command is just when we run PHP artisan, it gives us a list of commands. So that's pretty cool. Now when we did our jobs before, obviously this is where they would go between schedules and jobs. Exceptions, if we have an, a runtime error exception, that's where those would go. We have access to our logs and dumps and queries. So this section is very cool. We're actually able to see every single query that we're running behind the scenes. So for example, if we loaded up our customers list, we go ahead and register a user very quickly so I can log in test user. All right, so let me visit the customers list. So we have one customer here. So now we see that we loaded our customers and then we loaded our companies. And the reason for that is that our company is actually being lazy loaded through our relationship. Let's go back to PHP storm so I can show you that. Let's go to the customers index. And if we look down here, you see that customer is calling the company relationship and then calling the name. So this actually brings us to a problem and we're going to solve this in the next episode. But check this out. If we actually generated a lot of customers, you're going to see we're going to end up with a lot of duplicated queries. So let's do that now. Let's go to PHP Artisan Tinker and let's use our factories to whip up, let's say 50 customers. Whoops, let's try it again. There we go. So now we have a lot of customers. Go back to our browser, hit refresh, and now you see we have a lot of customers. 
But now, if we load telescope, we have what is called an n plus 1 problem. So we're actually going to solve this in the next episode, but check out how many queries we are running with that simple operation. Now, of course, if we were to add even more customers, it keeps getting even worse. So that is an important thing to remember. So in the next episode, we're going to take a look at how to fix this so that we keep our queries to a very, very minimum count. So stick around.